I'm James Parker, and this is Florida Story. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. For our first Florida Story, we're going to Fort Myers, and this is pretty ridiculous stuff. Let me just read you the headline to start with. It says, Egg Assailant Targeting Cars on McGregor Boulevard Leaves Neighbors with Safety Concerns. And I can hear you thinking out loud to yourself, James. Is there a TV station in Florida that's really making a a report on kids egging cars? Yeah. Shells are scattered all along McGregor Boulevard. Turns out they're left over from a prankster who's egging people's cars. NBC 2's Hope Salmon spoke with people in this neighborhood in Fort Myers. Pilot and bam, bam, bam. You know, something hit my car, but I didn't know what it was. I thought I hit someone. Jason Parrish is talking about what happened to him early Saturday morning. I pulled over in near the country club and looked and saw, and it was eggs. Parrish was relieved that he didn't hit another car or person, but wasn't happy about these scratch marks left on his car. Dan and Kristen live down the road from where this happened. They say no harm, no foul. I've probably egged houses, toilet papered houses, <laughs> and done other things. I've never hurt a human or caused any massive damage. If this happens Friday nights, we might need to have a covert off. We're gonna bring him over, yeah. put their camera on. Might have an egg on. fight. We'll get some Nerf guns out. Snyder says she'll keep her eyes peeled. I mean, people are walking their babies here. What if I, what that cost me to, you know, veer my car and hit somebody on the sidewalk? It'd be terrible. No, no, do not applaud that. None, zero, zero, stop, stop, stop. You're out of control. You're out of, I, there, I have no love for that report. Number one, the only people that got it right was that couple that was mocking the report to begin with. Oh, yeah, if this keeps up, we're going to have to come out here with some camo and Nerf guns. Now, that couple got it. That lady and her husband, I assume, got it. The rest of them were, were insane. Well, what if a car swerved and I hit a baby? Oh, yeah, what if what if a baby got killed? Like, oh, could you be more dramatic? Oh, no, think of the babies. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy that they're reporting on it in the first place because, like, this is Florida, right? I mean, there's the 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 top two presidential challengers are just in your state down the road. You got everything from uh, bath salts to invasive species to Casey Anthony to Tom Brady, and you're worried about kids egging cars. Nobody is worried about kids egging cars, and I don't care how wonderful your community is. There's something you could have reported on in your scarce, very valuable. Uh, air airtime real estate for the news that that would have been better spent on this egging story and no eggs are not a great concern there you know i've watched a lot of these you've seen a lot of these docuseries whether it's on netflix or msnbc or whatever where they do the profiles of the guys that ended up on death row or the guys that are behind bars for life without parole and none zero of their stories start out with you know, my father abandoned us when I was just a baby, and so I was just raised by the streets, and I fell into the wrong crowd, and we started getting real reckless with dairy. You know, just egging cars, and it went downhill from there. Zero. Zero. It's not in any of the stories. So, uh, you know, as if Florida does has a shortage of legit stories on, how crazy is it that these maniacs are reporting on an egging? Yes, you heard that correctly. An egging. Hold my beer. My eggs, whatever. Wait, Hold my beer. What? Hold my beer. Hold my beer. What? What For our next Florida story, we're going to Tampa. Well, kind of the ar- area around the Tampa Bay uh, because there's a new invasive species I got to tell you about. It's a, a lizard. And the reason why the, the this story caught my eye, you know, Florida has some weird invasive species going on with the pythons and iguanas and whatnot. But this one, uh, the headline says, uh, invasive Jesus Christ lizard could be harmful to people. And You know, the threat in the fragile Florida environment. You know, you people just spout this stuff off like I'm supposed to be scared of the Jesus Christ lizard or the the, the flora and fauna of Florida can't handle itself from the Jesus Christ lizard. And it's called the Jesus Christ lizard because this thing um, can walk on water, albeit kind of briefly. It kind of skates real lightly across the water. And so they liken it to uh, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which, I, you know, I'm not saying is... You know, blasphemous or it is it feels a bit reductive right what i mean what if we did that for someone else what if we called it like you know the the, the moses lizard would that be appreciated well in uh jewish circles 
So uh, good luck to the Jesus Christ lizard. You're probably going to be the new favorite food of one of these uh, python hybrids that exists only in Florida or some other invasive species or a crocodile or an alligator. I mean, it's it's not so easy just because it came from some place and doesn't have any natural predators. Florida will adapt because if I've learned anything from nature, especially in Florida, it is all adapted specifically to kill you. Hold my beer. Wait. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. <laughs> For our next Florida story, we're going to bunnel florida bunnel has been on the show before this time it's uh this is a good one a, a couple gets pulled over a uh, young couple the, they look like they could be in their 30s or maybe they just are 20s and did a lot of drugs so uh, we'll leave it right there it's exactly what you think if you see the mug shots but florida deputies pulled this couple over and they were suspicious because these people had already had some sort of uh, paperwork done with the authorities in some capacity before and so since you guys are already on our list, uh, you want to go ahead and tell us if you got anything in the car. And uh, they said no. And they're like, okay, step out the car. So they find some paraphernalia. And there's like, is there anything else we need to know about? And the girl in this couple, in this Florida couple, says, yes, I actually have some in my body cavity. And it was two guys that pulled them over. So they had to request a female deputy to come show up and on the side of the road, help her retrieve the it was a baggie of meth from her body cavity and i don't know whether or not to be impressed because it says it was 10.8 grams of methamphetamines in a baggie and since i have no idea what a gram is i don't know the metric system well, what is that? that is that a pack of sweet and low is that like a coffee pod is is, is that like uh, one of those bean bags you play cornhole with i, I don't know 10.8 gram whatever that is that that's what was shoved up um hold my beer Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. For our next Florida story, we're going to Hollywood, Florida. And in today we have a man forcibly robbing elderly victims and fleeing on a scooter. And if that sounds like I'm making it up, that's literally the headline. This isn't my paraphrasing of a story. Man accused of forcibly robbing elderly victims and fleeing on a scooter. And it's exactly... What it sounds like, the, the reason I'm bringing this up is because it wasn't that long ago. It, I, uh, there was another guy who had gotten in a fight at the, the produce section and fled on uh, on a scooter. And so what I am noticing here is um, you pair that with the previous scooter story from earlier this year. Uh, a guy on a, a scooter had a, a bad experience with a drawbridge. I'll leave it at that. That's three scooter stories. Crime in Florida is even happening in the scooter demographic. And, and I'm not saying in the great Venn diagram of life, you know, scooter drivers and hardened criminals. I'm not saying there's no overlap. I'm just saying there's very little overlap. And I, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, statistically speaking, this is a, an, another demonstration of how spectacular uh, Florida is for breaking these weird trends. I mean, just the, the astronomical odds to have the, the community that is into scooters also be into robbing little old elderly ladies. Hold my beer. Wait. Hold my beer. What? Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Florida Stories is produced by Spring Rock. Follow me on Twitter at Florida Stories J. I'm James Parker, and this, this is Florida Stories. One thing no one ever told you about relationships is how many gifts are involved. There's always one coming up. If it's not Christmas, it's Valentine's, and there's an anniversary, and then there's a birthday, and then there's Mother's Day. And even if you're good at buying gifts, after a few years of this, you've run through all your good ideas, so what do you do? I have your answer. Symmetry Jewelry. Go to symmetryjewelry.com. You can't go cheap and get her something from the dollar store. And it's not enough to just spend a bunch of money. Give her 400 bucks cash. You think she'd be happy with that? I know you're not a jewelry expert, but go to symmetryjewelry.com and click around. This isn't some retail chain jewelry store. This is a house of artists in New Orleans who handcraft one-of-a-kind pieces, and each piece is a little work of art. You suck at buying gifts, so the next time you have to buy a gift, get it right. Go to symmetryjewelry.com. Use promo code JAMES for 10% off right off the top. I get a little commission too. Your girl's happy. Everybody wins. Symmetryjewelers.com. Ladies, you're welcome.